just a quick video today. I have finally received this package from Russia, from Anthony, who I've been waiting for about two months for this. Uh, I'm very excited that it has arrived in time for GPU June. Uh, I'm just going to do an unboxing in this video, but I'm hoping I will get some time to do some more videos and testing before the end of June. This is probably, hopefully, uh, the most crazy video card I will uh, have uh, I'll ever own. Uh, potentially there's one other one that he's working on, but this one uh, is pretty special. Uh, and I'm assuming I will put it in the title of the video, but I will open it now and show you guys. And you'll have to excuse my excitement because I think this is just an insane piece of engineering and very excited to get into it. And I am not good at unboxing stuff, so looks like maybe this side. Hmm. Maybe not. Probably end up cutting myself as usual. Okay. Well, that was the uh, most uh, glamorous box opening I'm sure you have ever seen. Still not even in there yet. All right, so. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. So he did mention to me uh, in the previous video card he did it was just a card by itself and some anti-static wrapping but now he's starting to make <laughs> real boxes with real printed manuals you can download this manual uh, he's got a PDF of it online but this particular card is the Lost Joker 2 wow he's done an amazing job so as you can see here, it is a 3DFX Avenger, otherwise known as a Voodoo 3, and a PowerVR PCX2 on the same PCB. It is insane. So you can run your uh, Quake, uh, so your MechWarrior 2 with your um, special version that runs fantastic on the PCX2, and then you can also run all your Glide games. First impressions are the card actually is a bit smaller than I expected, which is always nice. And look at that. Holy crap. Uh, this is a very nice looking piece of hardware. So, um, for those that you don't know, I will quickly explain what this is. So you've got a, a Voodoo 3, effectively a 3500, running at 183 megahertz with 16 meg of RAM. And you've got the PCX2 uh, running at 66 megahertz with four megabytes of RAM. This card also has a couple of other amazing things though. So one, it has a pass-through and he's put a special chip on it so that it detects if the card is being used or not. So you can have a standard AGP or PCI Express as your primary video card looped through this, kind of like the old school uh, Voodoo ones and twos. And then all you need to do in your BIOS is change your primary boot device, and then either this card or your primary card will take over. The other amazing thing about this particular board, if I zoom in, is that it has this jumper here. This lets you overclock the PCX2 chip to 80 megahertz, which is the fastest uh, instance of that chipset anywhere. They're all normally at 66 megahertz. So, yeah, this is going to be a very f fun card to play with. 
Now, I think really it needs some active cooling for the um, the Voodoo 3. I believe Anthony said if it's running at the 85 megahertz, he highly recommends uh, proper active cooling. Um, but if it's running at this, if you down clock it to 66 megahertz, it should be better. Anyway, this is just a very quick unboxing of this amazing video card uh, that uh, Anthony's put together. And uh, later I will do a build with, with this unit. Anyway, happy GPU June. See you guys soon.